Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I hope that you are all uh, fine. Uh, I missed you a lot. Uh, I hope that you had uh, a lovely uh, spring break, okay, and you enjoyed your uh, vacation. Okay, uh, let's start quickly our session today. Okay, uh, as we talked before, we are talking about rocks. This is our lesson. Uh, God wills, we are gonna finish it uh, on uh, Thursday. Okay, uh, all of the lesson. Okay, with uh, with your sheets in your resource packs. Okay, okay. As we started before, that we are talking about rocks. We said before, what does it mean by natural resources? Natural resources that they are things. Resources means that they are things that they are found in nature. It means that God created them, and they are not made by man. Man didn't make it they are made by god okay so what are the things that people use it from the earth they are like the plants as we said before that they are like the fruits and vegetables we are eating fruits and vegetables and we are planting those plants so plants they they, they are a natural resource that it's found on the surface of the earth and people use them okay then the second thing is the water all of us we are using the water and water is on the surface of the earth we are cooking with water we are washing with water and we are drinking water we are uh, washing our faces we are taking baths so we are using water and water it's a natural resource which is found on the surface of the earth so plants water and air all of us we breathe air even the plants and animals they breathe the air okay so the air it's a natural resource which is found on the surface of the earth and the people they use that even other things like the plants and animals they use then the animals the animals they are a natural resource people use the animals either to eat their meat to, to drink their milk uh, for example we take the eggs from the chicken we take uh, things like the the wool from the sheep okay so we are using the things from the animals and we are eating the animals themselves so we are using the animals as a natural resource on the surface of the earth then the last thing which is the topic of our lesson is the, the rocks so what are the natural resources they are things that they are found in nature that the people they use it okay that they are using them because they are on the surface of the earth they means that they are in nature god created them or god made them man didn't make anything in them like the plants the animals the water the air and the rocks okay so what are rocks rocks as we said before that they are hard of course and they have different sizes shapes and colors of course you will find the rock it's big it's small it's medium in size uh, it's uh, rectangular it's circular uh, it has a, a roughly roughly shaped like this randomly shaped okay uh, some of them they have a gray color some of them they are brown in color so they have different sizes shapes and colors okay so rocks they are hard they have different sizes shapes and colors of course the rocks they are non-living part of the earth and we said before what does mean by non-living that they can't eat they can't breathe they can't drink they can get babies okay so the rocks they are non-living okay okay where can i find rocks where either below the grass of course in the soil below the grass means that they are also in the soil even in the city streets we said that we can find stones pebbles uh, bricks we can we can find rocks all over the city streets and even at the bottom of the ocean even if you don't make diving for example you will see it in the movies in the tv you find that there are rocks at the bottom of the ocean so where can i find the rocks i will find below the grass in the soil in the city streets and even at the bottom of the ocean okay okay as we said also before that rocks have been used as tools for thousands of years ago what does it mean by this that for thousands of years ago and they are from long time ago that when people or man discovered that there are rocks on the surface of the earth they decided to use them use it as what use it as tools like what we use it we said that we use it they use it as weapons for example in the wars uh, they use it uh, for uh, sewing like needles they use it for their beauty like the combs 
they use it even in hammers to make the nails they use it to make fires to get warmth or to cook on it so they use it as tools to, to make it their or to make their life easier okay so when they discovered from thousands of years ago from long time ago they discovered the rock so they decided to use it as tools okay then we came to the rocks examples we took that we, we said that there are examples of rocks like first of all the chalk the chalk from its name it will be its use what it is used for it's used to make the chalk itself and i told you before even if you didn't see it the chalk these are things that we write up with it on the blackboard not with on the whiteboard okay some of them they have the white color like this and some of them they are colored to make colors on the board like the green marker or the red marker and all of those we have here colored chalk so the first truck example was the chalk the chalk we use it to make also chalk so they use it's coming from the name the second thing the marble as I told you also before that the shape or the picture of the rock it's very important from it you must know the name of the rock and then you will find its use so the second rock we have at the marble this is its shape okay and we use marbles to make the statues uh, for most most of us we have statues at home even if you don't have you saw it at the tv or in the movies so the statues they are made from marbles Okay, so we took the chalk, we took the marble. The third thing is the slate. What's the slate? This is its shape, and we use the slate to make the roof tiles. Okay, even if we don't have it here in Egypt, it's not common, of course. Okay, but we use the slate to make the roof tiles. Of course, you saw it in the in the movies. Okay, in the English movies. Okay, so we make the roof tiles from the slate. So we took the chalk to make the chalk, the marble to make the statue, the statues, and the slate to make the roof tiles. Then the fourth example is the limestone. This is the shape of the limestone, the, the rock. Okay. What do we use the limestone in? We use to make cement. Okay, and cement, of course, it's used in building uh, to make uh, uh, to, to, to make the bricks hold together to make a wall. And so cement, it's coming from the limestone. The last thing is the granite. Of course, granite is very common. Okay, and it's famous. We use it to make the kitchen tables. All of us, we saw that the kitchen tables, it's made from the granite okay so this is a revision for all of the rocks we are having the slate this is the shape of the slate we use it to make roof tiles this is the chalk this is its shape we use it to make also chalk from the name they use then the marble this is the shape of the marble and then we use it to make statues the granite this is the shape of the granite it's common in the kitchen tables and all of us we know it the limestone this is the shape of the rock which is the limestone we use the limestone to make cement okay now we finish the rocks we're going to continue the stones and pebbles all of us know the stone and the pebbles of course what are those they are small pieces of rocks so when you see stones and pebbles when i give you an example for example uh, in the practice worksheet or in the quiz when i'm going to tell you stone and pebbles they are rocks yes because they are small pieces of rocks so the stones and pebbles they are kind of rocks they are small pieces of rocks then the last thing we said that all of those they were natural resources they are found on the surface of the earth they are found in nature god created them but some they are man-made what are those they are the bricks i want to tell you something very important here too when i'm going to tell you the word brick brick means it's man-made it's made by people if i'm going to tell you stone or the rock itself this is made in nature this is natural resource made by god for example if i'm going to tell you slate either slate rock slate stone this is what it's a natural resource but for example if i'm going to tell you slate brick 
What does it mean by this? Means that man took the slate as a rock from the natural resource from the surface of the earth, okay, and they polish it and then they made it, okay, to be a brick, okay. They make shapes in it to make it as brick. For example, in the roof tiles. Again, I will say this part. The rock itself. As we said, it has many different shapes and many colors and many sizes and all of this, and it, it's roughly shaped, right? So, for example, I will talk about the slate. This is the shape of the slate as a rock, okay? So, I will find the slate as a rock in nature. This is its shape. If I want to make it, I want to use it, what shall I do? I will take and take the slate as a rock and then I will make shapes in it and then polish it and then I will put it in, and for example, I want it a medium size and then I want it in a rectangular shape. So I made shapes in it and I made size from it. So I, I made it by myself. So this is called slate brick. And then I will make, for example, the roof tiles from it. Okay, so the some rocks they are natural resources means that the rocks they are found in the found in nature man didn't make anything in them he found it in nature and on the surface of the earth as it is okay he didn't come to them but some of them they are called man-made means made by people which they are the bricks and today i told you something important that if i took the rock as a natural resource, as I found it on the surface of the earth, and then I made shapes from it, and then I made colors from it. For example, I, I painted them, and then I made a shape from it. This means that I made something in it. I'm a man, I made something in it. This will be called a brick, okay? Okay, now we are going to come to the part which is new, it's called the minerals. Minerals, they are like the rocks, okay? We are going to take examples from them, okay, as a mineral, and then what is its use? First of all, the rocks, they are made of one or two minerals. The rocks, they are made of one or two minerals. What are the minerals we are going to take? Graphite, magnetite, fluorite, turquoise, okay? Okay, so then. First of all, the graphite. What is the graphite? Of course, all of us, we know the graphite that we use it to make pencils. Of course, not all of the pencil, but the part we use to write with. This is the graphite part. This is the graphite part. This is the graphite part. And this is the rock of the graphite itself, okay? Or the graphite mineral, okay? And then we put the, the uh, wood over the graphite, okay? So as not to make our hands dirty and then with the papers and all of this, okay? So the wood is just for shaping and just for uh, making the pencil colorful and not making the, the papers and uh, our hands dirty, okay? So the first mineral we are talking about is the graphite. The graphite, it's a mineral. We use it to make the pencils, okay? The second thing is the magnetite. Of course, all of us, we know the magnets. Magnets are made from a mineral which is called magnetite, okay? The magnets, they are things, as we know, that they can attract things and they can't attract the other things, okay? So the magnets, they are made from the magnetite. So we took the graphite, we use it to make pencils. The magnetite, we use it to make magnets. The third thing is the fluorite. This is the fluorite as a mineral, okay, as a rock. So this is the fluorite. What do we use the fluorite in? We use to make the toothpaste. All of us, we are brushing our teeth, okay? So the toothpaste itself, it's made from fluorite, okay? The fourth mineral we have it is the turquoise. The turquoise, of course, it, it's having a colorful color, okay? It's a very beautiful color. It's uh, the bluish color, and some of them, they are bluish and green, okay? What do we use it in? We use it in jewelry, of course, because it's beautiful in color, okay? So those are the minerals. The minerals we took is the graphite, magnetite, fluorite, and turquoise. Okay, the graphite, this is it's the shape of the graphite. Of course, it's like the color of the pencils. We use it to write. And we use the graphite to make pencils. Okay, the part we use to write with. 
Then the magnetite, this is the shape of the magnetite. We use it to make the magnets. This is the shape of the fluorite. We use the fluorite to make the tooth paste. Okay. And then the last thing is the turquoise. This is the shape of it. It has bluish or blue, bluish greenish color. So we use it to make the jewelry. Okay. We finished the explanation part. Now we are going to come to solve the uh, sheets in your research box. We are going to sort page first 45 in the beginning. Okay. Now we are having the rocks. Here are the shapes of it. And then he is saying to you match it with a name and then they use. I will not match. I will write the color so as to be easy for you to see. Okay. Okay. The first shape or the first picture we are having. This is for the yes slate. And we use the slate to make what? To make the Yes, the roof tiles. Excellent. Two. This is the shape of which rock? It's the chalk. We use it to make what? From its name, it's used. Yes, the chalk. Either the white or the colored ones. Number three. This is the what? Yes, it's the marble. We use it to make, yes, statues. Number four. This is the what? Yes, it's the granite. We use it to make kitchen tables excellent ones the first picture the last one is the of course the limestone we use it to make the cement okay okay here is page 47 okay some uh, some of them they are new questions okay we are going to solve it question one we're having a b c okay letter a what does man made mean Okay, the clue is in the name. Of course, the, it's coming from the name. Okay, what does mean man-made? It's not a natural resource. It's made by, by people. It's manufactured. What does mean by manufactured? It's coming from its name. That man has made it in a factory. Of course, he doesn't make it otherwise. Okay, or uh, where, wherever. So he made it in the factory so it's coming from the name manufactured means it's man-made so what does mean by man-made it's not a natural resource god didn't make it okay man made it man made it in the factory means manufactured letter b what does natural rock mean it means that it is found in nature god created them and man didn't make anything in them okay let us see it's a very important question you're having here some rocks okay we are going to sort them as man-made and natural ones the first one is brick marble granite brick chalk limestone and slate brick i will give you a clue as i said before if i'm saying stone or rock so it will be a natural resource and if i didn't say stone or rock it's also natural resource but if I'm saying brick, it means that man took it and then he made sizes, shapes, and colors in it, and then he polished it, and then he used it. So it will be man-made. Okay? So brick, it will be man-made. Marble, natural. Granite, brick, man-made. Yes. Chalk, natural. Limestone natural slate brick man-made okay so those are the examples brick granite brick slate brick so they are man-made the limestone the marble and the chalk they are natural here is the third uh, third page sorry okay question two page 48 you're having two rocks, a small piece of granite and you're having bricks he's saying to you are answer the questions according to those Number one, could you find both of those rocks in the ground? Of course, no. Why? Because the granite is a natural resource. We can find it in the ground because man may, um, sorry, God made it. I'm sorry, God made it. So it's a natural resource found in nature. And the bricks, they are man made. Can you find it in the ground? No, you will find it in the factory. Okay, number two. If you had lived in the Stone Age, do you think you could have found both on, in the ground? The Stone Age, it's a long time ago, from thousands of years ago, okay? So, you will find both of them in the ground? Of course, no. Granite is a natural resource and brick, it's man-made. Number three, 
One of the rocks has been made by people. It is manufactured. Which one do you think? It's the, we said the, the bricks, of course. Number four. What do you think the manufactured material it's made from? The bricks, what do you think it's made from? This is, I think it's new for you. The bricks, they are made from clay. Okay, the clay, we use it to make the bricks. Okay. Number five, the last question. Where does rock come from? Of course, it will be found where? Under the ground. They come from under the ground. Okay. Thank you so much. I hope that you understood well. Okay, I will repeat them on Thursday. Don't worry if you had missed the part. Okay, I hope that you will be having a nice day.